How we all doing today? Now that I'm finally awake for the night, you fucking assholes. I, I sleep in the day and I stay up at night. This is a change in my schedule 100%. Like, I'm not used to this shit, so if I'm rambling, let me know. Okay. Back to the old, back to the janky motel series. I was in one. Oh, it was the avenue and the kids who while I went and destroyed it. Whole top floor, people went through walls and everything. There was like those big wine jugs full of vodka people were down in. There was some shit, bro. Like, I remember a lot of it was fucking to the point where we almost died from intoxication. Like, inhalation and fucking inhaling vodka, like, it was insane. I love Serbian parties. I am mean, fuck, I married a Serbian for that reason. Because I can out drink her. She's even got a box of wine here still. I don't want it, so I might give it away as Harley's last fucking clue. <laughs> I love to keep it working for the kids, but she don't want shit. And it saddens me that she used me. Well, I probably would have invested as long as she paid me back proper. <laughs> what a joke, eh? People rip off the people that would help them. And then other people don't fucking ask for help and go without with people around them that would rip them off. So there's nothing you can do to stop that cycle, but the cycle we can stop is poverty. No one should go outside without five bucks in their pocket. It should be a law. That way if you get stuck, you have a bus ticket, you have somewhere to go, you have a methadone drink, you have what you need, you have at least five dollars, you're not loitering anywhere, you're not causing trouble, you're not anything that they can charge you with, as long as you actually have a dollar. It doesn't have to be five, but I like to have five just to be a dick. See, and I'll do it with two, like two toonies and a loony so he can suck my dick. I hate cops. I banged a cop's daughter and he found out and stalked me for three days. Talk about a man of lie. Yeah, we'll get into that later. That's the Melissa story. And oh my god, the Melissa story is a fucking story, man. Hello, junkies. And every man, your mama, too. We all playing games like Russian Roulette or two. I fucking forget your name. Honey, I know it's true. But what do you want me, this juggle low to call you? I would call you Betty. I call you fat. I call you sweaty. I'd say you spines out your back, but I want to hit that netting before I quit it, so I hit it, ran out with the door with the condom still on. <laughs> no cum survived, it all was inside, and we kept it away from fat sweaty Betty every day from then on out. Good night, Joker's, Joker's Tales of Reading for Bedtime Stories. Nursery Rhymes by Joker.